All right, so this front end steering design is just horrible. I don't really trust going high speeds with this. There's a little bit of bump steer and the Ackerman is incorrect. So I'm just gonna relocate the steering rack back here. Yeah, uh, that's gonna be a safety hazard. All right, and now the steering rack is relocated in the back, so I have to completely redo these upper control arms and make new mounts for them. Alright, so I've been messing and trying to fine tune the steering for a couple hours now and I think I finally came up with a, a zero bump steer. There we go guys, that's zero bump steer. Alright, after tweaking everything, this right here is no good so we're going to have to cut that off and redo it. All right, so I got the steering redone. I tested it, I like it. So I'm gonna go ahead and weld everything and then start finalizing this buggy, getting the brakes, the cooling, figure it out. Luckily, there's no clutch or gears to worry about, so it should be pretty simple to get this thing going. So I guess that's what we're gonna get started on. All right, so I got the brakes all hooked up and bled. The weather's been pretty bad these last couple of days, so while I waited out, I figured it'd be a great time to tell you about today's sponsor, Squarespace. 
So let's say you're not really tech savvy, but you want to build a website to sell your products. Squarespace has award-winning templates to make it super easy to design a cool looking website. And it doesn't really matter what you do, whether you're a blog post or e-commerce guy, or you just want to build a cool portfolio. Squarespace has 24-7 customer support, so if you ever get in a the jam, they got you. Everything in this world moving towards mobile phones, they'll actually optimize your website to look good on a mobile phone, which is pretty neat. Now as a full-time builder, Squarespace makes it easy for me to upload all my parts and builds directly to a website for all my audience to see. So guys, with that being said, head over to squarespace.com slash builds and use the code VasiliBuilds to get 10% off your first website or domain. So that will be the first link in the description. But with that being said, let's go test drive this bad boy. Right, so I did uh, take the drive shaft out just for less things to break. This thing is fast, dude. It's it's pretty fast. So far, so good. I mean, usually test drives don't go this good. Uh, knock on wood, though. Well, I guess that Civic radiator isn't enough. Not even five minutes in and it's overheating already. We're out here basically in the middle of nowhere on the trails and it, it handles it pretty good. So once we get that 4x4 in and that reverse, dude, we should be unstoppable. Either I trapped air in the engine or this is radiator is just too small. So, I mean, we might have to wire up a fan or pro probably get a dual pass radiator. Checking out the chain right here, it is not hot which is a good sign and the chain tensioner isn't bent so it's doing its job properly so I think we have a good platform there I think we just have to lower the gearing even more because um, ideally this thing should be popping wheelies with all this power and with how far f uh, backwards the engine is but yeah I'm actually pretty happy <laughs> guys so I'm actually pretty stoked with how this thing performed the steering is very nice it is pretty nice actually good thing I redid it it's a little bit too stiff up here and then too soft in the back so we're gonna have to mess with the spring rates a little bit and already it's proving to be a much better platform than the old Chinese buggy I mean just so much more power so much more low end and I think I'm actually running the incorrect belt it's a little bit on the longer side because I was afraid it was gonna take off on me so, you know, I could go to a shorter belt and it would probably add a bunch more horsepower. So, we'll see. So yeah, guys, with that being said, I hope y'all enjoyed. Literally, my GoPro wasn't recording and then I lost my receiver. So, lessons for the future. But uh, I guess I'll catch you in the next one. Stay tuned.